now awaiting Mance's signal south of the wall, Egret and Tormund rest. Despite wanting revenge for his betrayal, Egret still loves John, a fact that Tormund picks up on. Egret insists that all three arrows found their mark, but says that John may still have survived. Knowing Egret's skill as a markswoman, Tormund says that if John is still alive, it is because she didn't want him dead. A group of Fens led by Steyr arrives, bearing food from a raid farther south. When Steyr asks if Egret is Tormund's woman, she claims that she belongs to no one and points a threatening arrow at the Then. He ignores it and takes a seat next to the fire to cook his meat, a human arm. After his recovery from Egret's arrows, John admits he had laid with a wildling girl. Slint calls for John's execution for breaking one of his vows, but Aemon objects. Egret and the wildling band attack a village and kill almost all of its inhabitants. She kills a villager named Gaiman. Steyr orders Gaiman's son Ollie, vengeful on killing Egret, to run to Castle Black to warn the Night's Watch about the impending attack, in the hopes that the brothers would leave Castle Black to protect nearby villages, leaving them vulnerable to the southern attack. Egret participates in the attack on Mull's town. She is ambushed by a whore in the Mull's town brothel, but swiftly kills her with a spear thrust into her gut. Egret then discovers Gilly and her son in hiding but spares their lives and motions for them to be quiet so they will not be found by other and less merciful wildlings. On the wall before the Battle of Castle Black, John attempts to describe to Sam how it felt to sleep with Egret, but finds it difficult to express it. Just outside Castle Black, Egret gets into a heated argument with Steyr over her feelings for John, motivating her to resolve to kill him herself and re-establish her tarnished reputation among her own people. The wildlings then see Mance Raider's bonfire signal to attack Castle Black. Egret scouts Castle Black's defenses and reports back that most of the men are on the wall and few remain in the castle. The group prepares to attack, while Egret seems to have second thoughts. During the battle, she kills numerous brothers of the Night's Watch, including Pippa. Cornering Jon Snow, Egret aims an arrow at him. Seeing him weakens her resolve and she hesitates, only to have Ollie shoot her through the chest from behind. John holds her in his arms, and she weakly asks if he remembers the cave where they made love, where she said she wished they could stay forever and not have to face the war and death outside. Egret says they should have stayed in that cave. When John insists that they will return there, she tells him, you know nothing, Jon Snow, and then dies. After the arrival of Stannis Baratheon at the wall, John speaks with Tormund, who is now a captive of the Night's Watch. Tormund asks John if he loved Egret, and, when John does not respond, says that she loved him very much, as the only thing she talked about after John left her, was killing him. He convinces John to have her body burned beyond the wall. Thus, John takes Egret's body to a grove in the haunted forest and makes a funeral pyre before a weirwood tree, burning his love's body with tears in his eyes.